Live from our news centre here in Moscow, this is RT with international news and comment 24 hours a day. Israel has launched a deadly military offensive against Gaza, with fighter jets and warships attacking the occupied territory. The operation began with the airstrike assassination of the military leader of Hamas. The Palestinian group pledged to open the gates of hell in retaliation. Well, for more, let's now cross live to RT's Tom Barton. He's in Tel Aviv. Uh, so, Tom, what can you tell us at this stage? Well, Bill, the, uh, the situation down there uh, on the south, um, in the south of Israel and also in Gaza continues to escalate uh, at the moment. Israeli jets are still bombing sites uh, throughout Gaza. Twenty sites uh, specifically mentioned by Israeli defense sources. They say they want to destroy uh, terrorist infrastructure down there. Uh, but they've gone on uh, these, with these bombings starting today uh, with the killing of uh, Ahmed, Ahmed Jabiri, uh, the head of um, Hamas's military wing. A video earlier showed uh, a missile hit his car which uh, exploded uh, and that, uh, that was then followed by this escalation of bombing. The Israeli Navy has also joined in uh, shelling uh, northwestern Gaza, reportedly hitting its targets there. We're not quite uh, sure what those targets are. Uh, Hamas, for its part as well, has been firing rockets back into Israel. Uh, some of those uh, shot down by Israeli uh, anti-missile defences. It all goes back uh, a few weeks with um, Hamas's rocket attacks increasing in their intensity. Hundreds of rockets fired over the past uh, couple of weeks. And also a, an airstrike at the weekend by Israel which killed four, including uh, three children, uh, report Palestinian authorities. That led to this, uh, this current escalation and the fear at the moment that Israeli ground troops may go in and invade uh, Gaza, as they did in uh, the new year of 2008-9 to with Operation uh, Kass led back then. This is called Operation Pillar of Defence now. A different name but very much the same pattern seems to be repeating itself. Israel has called up reservists and, the, and they have said that they are prepared to send in ground troops uh, if they, they deem it necessary. There's also been a wider diplomatic response as well uh, with international uh, uh, groups like the, the UN uh, and nations like the UK calling for restraint for the, the Palestinian uh, President Mahmoud Abbas. He has called for an emergency meeting uh, of the Arab League. That will either happen tomorrow or on Saturday. And he's also called uh, for a, 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 a stop to Israeli aggression. And lastly, by Egypt as well, with its new government, the first sort of uh, test uh, for them on this uh, on the Israeli-Palestinian uh, question and they have uh, come out and uh, have said they're going to withdraw their ambassador to Israel over this. They're outraged over it and they want uh, Israel to stop this offensive immediately. There is further speculation that they may open the Rafah crossing, the only crossing between uh, Israel uh, and, uh, and Gaza, uh, which would potentially allow uh, many um, civilians and possibly uh, fighters who want to escape to leave Gaza but could potentially also let in um, a lot of fighters, either Muslim Brotherhood fighters or other uh, Islamist militant group fighters to go into Gaza which could uh, provide reinforcements for Hamas if it wanted uh, to stand toe to toe uh, against Israel and could further exacerbate what is already a very unnerving, very tense and very violent situation down there. Tom, thanks very much indeed for that live update. No doubt more from Tom throughout the day here on RT. Well, even